the landmarks, the beach, the views. It's spectacular. It is impossible to miss the beauty of Rio de Janeiro and the areas that aren't so beautiful. The gap between the rich and the poor in, in Brazil and certainly in Rio is huge. The most obvious sign of economic inequality is the favela, Brazil's version of a slum or a shanty town. It's estimated 15% of Rio's population lives in one of these favelas. This is Hosina, the city's biggest, with about 100,000 residents. Unofficial estimates put the population much higher, and it's easy to see why. The cluster of buildings right below us here is all Rocinha. The homes are built on top of each other. All favelas start as illegal settlements. Hosinha has 500 alleyways and streets, where motorbikes are considered king of the road. Jody King was our guide. So it's really nice and colorful down here now. To a world that's been chaotic. These alleyways aren't named and the houses aren't numbered. Dangerous. There can be shootings and a risk of stray bullets. And yet welcoming. Uh, welcome to Brazil, all right, my friend? You know, I'm from England, but I've been accepted and, and welcomed into this community. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that kind of just goes to show that the character of the people that, that live in these communities. Beats. People like this woman, who serves homemade meals to visitors who stay in her guest room. Or this hairstylist, who recently started her own business. There are days that I have four clients. I'm a cabeleireira, I have this salon, I work with beauty. Can you film here, see? Okay, come in. Kids in the favela spend hours playing Brazil's favorite sport. No grass, no shoes, no football boots. Raw street football. Sometimes I'll bring tourists down here, tourists against Brazil. Brazil always wins. Welcome Brazil, all right, my friend. And remember our friendly Brazilian who welcomed us into the favela? Hello, nice to meet you. We saw him again. My name is Marcelo Mendes. And he had quite a story to tell. Let's go. He's a great guy. He's quite famous in Rocinha. Wow, well, thanks so much, my friend. He is thanks consumed so with a bouncing soccer ball. Surrounded by this chaos. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. All this noise. Yeah. Traffic. Um, -da -da -da. It just makes it look so easy, you know? How many hours can you do this? Well, wow, six hours, eight minutes. Six hours? Eight minutes. He believes he's set a record. Now he's just trying to let the world know. And your dream is to get into the Guinness Book of World Records. Yeah, 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 yeah. I believe you. I believe. I make it this record. It is an extraordinary story that seems ordinary here. It's amazing. <laughs> None of this should work. But somehow it does. From the jumbled power lines. The electric. Only the people here know how this mess works. To the unusual postal service that leaves mail at a central location. I've seen people sit here for 30, 45 minutes like this. Flicking through it all, trying to find their mail. Even the graffiti seems to have a special meaning here. Anjos nunca é demais. Anjo. These are the creations of Marcos Rodrigo. Seattle também é a pessoa. Tipo, as pessoas da comunidade, elas me conhecem aqui na comunidade. Quer ir falando aos poucos para ele? Unfortunately, crime is a constant companion within the favela. The Brazilian government has ordered military police into these communities in an attempt to stop the violence. In the smaller favelas, it's worked. But in the bigger favelas, like Rocinha, it hasn't worked so well. It's too big. They can't patrol the whole favela. So the gang is still here. But so are so many hardworking, let's go, fun-loving Brazilians. Stop in your hand. No. See, listen, Two. listen. There's a lot of misconceptions. One, no, relax. 
most people from the outside think everyone in the favela is a drug trafficker. No, no, no. Everyone in the favela is a thief. Yeah, you. No, yeah. no more. And it, it couldn't be further from the from the truth. In many ways, the favela is a genuine look at life in this country. Relax, believe you. A community aware of its challenges, making the most Hi. of what they've got. Ah, sorry. The vibe is good in a favela. It's America, no play below. <laughs> They're settled here and, and very nice, warm and happy people. Nice to meet you, my friends.